Dr. Marshi is connected. Alright guys, so I've come into a situation where I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Operation Supply Drop. You guys may not be uh, watching right now, but guess what? There's going to be a past broadcast. You guys are going to be able to see this. I'm going to be uh, you know, putting this on CG and trying to get them aware of it. Uh, trying to throw this out to my university, letting them know what Operation Supply Drop server. is. I want to know... Uh, you know what you guys feel is, is great about charities like Operation Supply Drop. Why is it uh, you know helping charities is a good thing? Um, I think I'm gonna call them. Anyway, sorry for muting and, and talking a whole bunch just now, you know, whatever. Basically, I want your guys' opinion. What do you guys feel is, uh, you know, great about the gaming community? I personally feel you guys are amazing. Charity work is outrageous on Twitch. Uh, look at Ezekiel 3 raising $53,000 for St. Jude on his channel in a week. Uh, then you have uh, Co Carnage. That man alone raised something like uh, $36,000. He was number two compared to Ezekiel. That's nuts. That's crazy amounts of money. Then you have uh, charities, uh, charity streaming like Awesome Games Done Quick or, you know, Games Done Quick on Twitch. Uh, they're freaking awesome. Why? It is a huge marathon of games. From streamers to avid everyday gamers to speedrunning communities, um, glitch runs, what have you. It's freaking amazing. They they put in this time and effort to give you the best runs possible. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no worries. Okay. And then on top of that, the community turns around and is like, oh, we're going to raise, you know, like $1.2 million. Like, what? Are you serious? This is, that's amazing from a gaming community to raise money for a charity. Um, I, I've kind of been really looking at Operation Supply Drop. I love everything they do. I'm actually getting ready to do a presentation to my university, the University of Akron, uh, here in Akron, Ohio. That's Yes, that's where I go to college. Um, anyway... The idea is I'm trying to raise the awareness of Operation Supply Drop. 
let them know uh, what is Operation Supply Drop and what do they do and why would we why would we be interested? Well, okay, our VA office department in like our VA representation in uh, the university has now started a book lending uh, community. So you can donate your old college books, and then new VA, you know, students or you know students like myself who have you know military benefits and stuff who go through the VA office there at the university can loan a book out without having to pay for it, and then you'll return that book at the end of the semester when you don't need it. Um, I'm actually going to be checking in with them tomorrow after my classes to see uh, what books I can get for free as well as uh, what do I really have to pay for um, because it'd be really it's a really cool program this is similar in that aspect in the gaming community here on twitch uh, where you get to say hey university VA office um, what is it a uh, VA post uh, 808 I think that's what it is at my university we actually have a VFW post uh, at my university they meet uh, the third Monday every month and I'm actually going to be pitching not only this to them but to also pitch a student organization around streamers at my university um, I know uh, my friend the big bad Buddha he's gonna try and do the same thing at his university in Massachusetts uh, I wish him and his success in college as well. I, college is a new level of education. But we get to speak to a new crowd. Uh, a student, for me, a student body that's almost 40,000 students strong. Imagine if we all donated $1. That's like $40,000. $1 out of everyone. That's friggin' amazing. I, I want to do that. I would love to be able to support Operation Supply Drop in, in endeavors like this. Um, I want to showcase the video I found of Operation Supply Drop. It was very uplifting for me. Um, you guys will notice on my Twitter or my YouTube or you know, notif you know, social media, what have you, that I've liked this video recently. Uh, actually, something like uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. And I want to show you guys this video without any interruption on my part. So I'll be muting my mic when I showcase this thing. But what's really cool about it is it's all for you guys. I want to show you guys this stuff. This is why I stream. This is why I do what I do every day. I want to make changes and give back to communities that I've already been a part of. And it, it, there's no better feeling than helping even one person, just one person, is always making a difference for me. It's always making a difference for them too. So this is what I'm trying to show you guys. See what I see. Let's uh, pull my face cam from this. And I'll hit play. A lot of times the horror of war was so fast and over so quickly you didn't even know what happened. Long range sniper fire, the bullet will hit the target before you hear the crack of a rifle. RPG fires, like they don't have big contrails, it's just this little piece of graphite lead that goes over your head and you're like, well, what the oh god, I know what that, I'm like, oh wait, I know. When things like that would happen, uh, <laughs> I would I would have gaming to take my mind off of. My name is Steve Machuga. I am the founder of Operation Supply Drop, we're a military gaming charity that uh, builds video game care packages for soldiers deployed to uh, combat zones and recovering in military hospitals. All right, let's see if we can make that happen. First supply drop we sent out was uh, November 2010. 
a buddy of mine who was my driver in Iraq. He got out for a while, re-enlisted, and then uh, was immediately deployed to Afghanistan. He said, hey, uh, I don't know if there's anything you can do to help me out, but I know you were looking to help out, and I wanted to help him. Oh, here we go. The fuzzy star of the show. Come on, pups. Dan Amrick won a sword, so it was really the impetus behind getting this thing started because they sent like boxes and boxes of Guitar Hero bundles and uh, DJ Hero bundles. I sent it downrange to Afghanistan, I sent it to Jeff and his crew. Obviously, you send like $3,000 worth of video games to somebody, they're gonna, hey, where'd you get that from? In my head, I know exactly what we have. You just kind of get creative and just, all right, well, I'll put one of these in here and one of these in here. And I mean, it's all inventoried, but it's a matter of, you know, just trying to divvy things up so guys are getting a whole bunch of good stuff. Look, Food so. Boogie has left the server. When I was deployed overseas, the care packages we got ranged from <laughs> horrific to middling at best. The thought was there, like they want, people wanted to help out, civilians wanted to help, but they don't know what guys really want. Right now the boxes are 20 by 20 by 20, and then 70 pounds is the max no matter what the size is. That's one console, you know, 360 or PS3, whatever we have in stock, usually a couple controllers, a headset, and we've got a bunch of great headset developers like uh, Astro and Plantronics, and uh, they're, they're great. Usually 20 to 30 games, you know, and then whatever swag we get. Games units, uh, they're these mobile cases that have a monitor built into them, and those things, I have one upstairs that I use when my wife wants to spend quality time together. They're always a pleasure when we have those because they, they make such a difference over there. It has to be a, a deployment changer. Like anybody that gets one of those things, they will remember that for the rest of their lives. And I'm glad that we were a part of that, like making that hellhole a little more enjoyable. To September 04, I go home on leave this evening. My Uber computer. I guess it's kind of that prison mentality where unless you've been there, you don't know what it's like. So you have this image in your head of what you see in, you know, Vietnam war films or something where it's just like this 23 and a half hours a day of chaos where you're just getting shot at and, you know, going outside the wire all the time. And it's not. If you're not, if you're not outside the wire and you're not on patrol or you're not doing something, there is a lot of sitting around and just waiting for things to happen. Mosque being built. I can't remember what the story was behind it right now, but well, here's the Myco. As you can see here on the roof, this is where the mortar impacted that one day. Caved the roof in. Gotta love, it. yes, that's where I work. Time's very weird over there. It's very slow, it drags on. I have no idea what's going on back home. You know, my, my new, I, my, I had to leave my newborn son and I haven't seen him, or my wife might be cheating on me, or my parents are sick, or whatever crazy things that are going on that you can't affect, it's infuriating because you just, you can't do anything from there. Gaming just has that ability to take your mind, because you have to be actively engaged in it. You can't just sit back and let it wash over you. Like, a, how many times have you tried to read a book where you're not in it and you're reading that same paragraph six times? You're like, I have no idea what I just read. Like, you are 100% engaged in order to proceed, you know, so. Video games is a magnificent way to, to get, to chew through those hours, and it worked for me. I'll never forget the first time I sat in front of the, the no-nonsense 8-bit Nintendo, and I saw Super Mario Brothers for the first time, and I, the only time I'd ever run into that was at an arcade. And to see a one-for-one -one translation of that game to your, to your house, it was just like this like mind-blowing experience. Yeah, you could tie every major part of my life to a game launch or game release or something. Like, I remember coming back from Iraq, and the first thing I remembered go was going, hey, World of Warcraft is out in next month. Like, the very first release of World of Warcraft. We had two separate apartments when he got back, and I think it was easier for him to just sort of process and do whatever it was emotionally that he needed to do on his own. Um, I don't know if it was because I wouldn't understand or if he just didn't want to burden me with it. When I, when I got back from Iraq, like, gaming was a huge part of getting me transitioned back into reality because, man, I don't know how it would have just gone away. But having something to actively distract me from my 
at the time phobias, my irrational beliefs that everything was going to blow up around me. We war does weird things to you. Like. He always was a video game guy, but I really noticed that when he needed to escape, that was sort of his escape. So rather than you know, just sitting in a room by himself, he would play video games. And it's a part that I've understood more through the charity. I guess I didn't realize that video games could actually be important. Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you why it feels great. I mean, it's that, it, it just, again, it's, it's kind of that same mentality where you're not thinking about, all right, tomorrow I got this presentation with the boss and, oh, this didn't go well today or, oh, I've got a big long day or I've got to work the weekend or. Nice try, asshole. Uh, <laughs> As you can see here, this is where the brunt of all the donations end up going. The stuff that I'm waiting to inventory is right here, and then stuff that has been inventoried is all over here in the Space Mountain looking craziness that we get over here. It's just completely, as you've seen, uh, taken over the downstairs. It's okay. I've gotten used to the the man cave clutter. Wizards of the Coast literally uh, brought uh, a quarter million dollars worth of magic cards and we're sh stuffing them all over. I don't know if they're still up here or not, but like things like this, like you'll just, you got donations everywhere. <laughs> all right, what's the magic number? Oh, that's not bad, 55. 55? Okay. Right, load them up. T-shirts? Yep. Do you have other swag? Uh, no, I think that's okay. Just let them look at the t-shirts. Let's right. close it up. There's a part of it as you're filling them. I just keep picturing what it's going to look like when they open them up and what their faces are going to look like. So I try to pack it up really well. I'm usually the one that he'll hand everything to me and I kind of put it in just so because I want it to really look aesthetically nice when they open it. Oh, pull that out. Yeah, no way, dude. The PS4. Dude. Oh, oh shit. no. Man. What is that? Basil, <laughs> Basil, turn it around. Turn it around. You're a gamer, right? Is that the new what, 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 is, what is an alien's face on it on a, on a computer mean? Oh, That, that's the best part, is getting those pictures back, where you see stuff that you've had your hands on and you're like, all right, and, and you, get the, you get the sob story about how they have nothing to do and you see a bunch of guys standing around this operation supply drop box or something like that. It's just, you can see our stickers on it and it's just like, oh, that's great. And they're holding up different stuff and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get that back to the donors. Like, because that's, that's the best part. Like the, the, the feedback loop, like it's that mentality like, all this was worth it. This third year's been pretty spectacular. And uh, like the first year we raised $20,000. The second year we raised $110,000 in games and gear and all the stuff you have behind us. And then this year we raised over $530,000 worth of stuff. And the, the, as you saw yesterday, the packages are still coming in every day. So I'm looking forward to now that we've got a little bit of a budget and uh, a couple people to help kind of figure things out. I'm, I'm interested to see where this is going to go. That's cool. All right, so guys, look at this. I I literally just showcased you guys the video of Operation Supply Drop. I, I ended up coming across this uh, a while ago, but I never like initially sat down and watched it. And I was like, all right, I, I need to see if Operation Supply Drop has like an official video because I, I was looking at the website and I just 
it wasn't translating for me. It was probably sitting right in my face, and I just I missed it. Um, which I think it's right when you go to operationsupplydrop.org. I think there's a video right then and there. It's, oh my God, there is. It's a one minute commercial, literally. Um, here's here's that here's the Operation Supply Drop website. Let me show you guys. Boom, Operation Supply Drop. You should put in operationsupplydrop.org and it'll send you here. And there's this stuff. There's this one. Let's go back to this one. Let's click the commercial. Using video games as a generationally relevant catalyst, Operation Supply Drop has created a supportive community for active duty service men and women. Oh, 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 you're just going to skip out on us, huh? Nope. We're going to go to YouTube. Video games is a generationally relevant catalyst. Operation Supply Drop has created a supportive community for active duty service men and women as well as veterans. Like the reason I'm excited about Operation Supply Drop is because Hollywood is all about showing the fast-paced gunfights and that is like this much of a deployment. So much of it is just downtime and that's the hardest part. You have nothing to do but sit there and miss home. Operation Supply Drop or the, when we were in Afghanistan was a big lifesaver. And believe in that little piece of humanity, they, they raised morale. By fostering a community centered on a common interest, we're able to help returning and active service men and women help through therapy, gaming, and just all around good fun. To learn more, visit operationsupplydrop.org. But basically, guys, that's literally, in a nutshell, uh, the stress of everyday life, uh, deployment, um, college, you know, the stresses of everyday life things now. I've been out for a while. You know, I've been out for like two years. I, I got my honorable discharge certificate uh, back in June. It was friggin' awesome to come across that. I was amazed. I was like, yeah. You know, I, I finally have something I can mount on my wall. Um, as you guys see behind me, I did come across my dress blue uh, picture. That was supposed to be my mother's. Uh, through her passing, I, uh, I ended up getting it back. And I was just like, crap. And uh, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't bad. But I also didn't expect to get it back the way I did, you know? But uh, video games help me with those stresses. You know, I, uh, you know, when I deployed back in 2009, I didn't have I didn't have the knowledge of Operation Supply Drop. They they went live when I came home in 2010. This Operation Supply Drop became a a, a thing. And uh, what's crazy about it is I, I read on the website all the time. You know, like the origin story and what we do and in the media and uh, to get involved you know make a donation or 8-bit salute or contact us and uh, it, it's it's one of those things where you know if if I would have known about it sooner I would probably I, I, I don't know where I would be today but the fact that I'm coming across it now I'm able to give you guys that information and explain to you guys that uh, you know if you guys aren't looking up Operation Supply Drop, I'm here telling you guys about it. That this is, you know, the Operation Supply Drop. Their mission is to, you know, provide community connections to troops through video games and digital entertainment. Their vision is to become the most generationally relevant active duty and veteran support organization in the world. Uh, like, they want to provide uh, entertainment where there is none. You know, that could be through these all-in-one Xbox uh, packages, you know, that have the screen and the console, a, a few controllers, a headset, and a, a handful of games to, you know, places like Afghanistan and Iraq and, you know, 
probably uh, troops across, you know, doing humanitarian work in Africa or, or you know, for the tsunami, or no, the earthquake that happened just last year uh, across sea, the sea. And, you know, it's, it's uh, things like this that make it worthwhile. You know, these guys are, you know, bored like you or me. Um, they are worrying about home a lot. They are worrying, of, you know, as he mentioned, you know, their their significant others, their their family life, uh, you know, their kid, they're missing their kids. They're you know missing out on a life at home, and instead they're doing work that they are assigned to do that they trained for, and this means that they're putting their neck out on the line, doing work that. Me and you don't have to do. You know, I'm I'm here in the U.S. in my state of Ohio, doing this. I, I I wouldn't have this opportunity either without spending my time in the military. I, I wouldn't have an, uh, the computer to stream with you guys. I wouldn't have had the money to do this. Um, Dennis has unfortunately, I learned the lesson of spending money way too late. But what I'm trying to get at here, guys, is the gaming community on Twitch is so huge and so generous at times that even if the smallest guy is like, hey, I'm doing a charity run, and the bigger folks know about it. Uh, hello, sorry, I just joined. What's happening? Uh, I'm talking about Operation Supply Drop. This is going to be a past broadcast trolling, trolling nubbles. Um you guys will get to see the full extent of me explaining what Operation Supply Drop is, the 10-minute video, plus the commercial I found as well from the Operation Supply Drop website, and how the gaming community helps veterans, troops, and our allied troops across the globe. Um, it's something I can't stress enough that these guys do a lot of work, and it's really awesome to give back to these guys who uh, don't have the opportunity to... Uh, keep their mind off of uh, the stresses of war, um, everyday stresses, and the worries that plague them probably even to today. And I get to explain that gaming also helps me in this situation. This is where I get to escape. You know, Twitch is my getaway. You know, I, I talk about games and, and stream video games with you guys, play with you guys on the weekends, uh, play multiplayer games maybe throughout the week, and we all get together and do this. Or I talk to my friends in TeamSpeak or other broadcasters that come to our TeamSpeak and hang out, or the, cha the stream or their streams. And we all have a good time. And this is where I literally, I get away for like six to eight hours. I treat this like a job. And... You know, I want to stream for you guys. Uh, I do have school. School was awesome today. Uh, I did my first day. I'm done at like 11 in the morning, but I ran around all over today and was just like, wow, I did a lot of running. Um, all over to get books, check out classes, and all that good stuff. And it was just like, okay, cool. Um, but I really, really wanted to talk to you guys that I'm actually going to be talking to my university really soon. I'm going to try and give a presentation using these tools here. Hopefully Operation Supply Drop says it's okay for me to use those videos. Um, I don't want to get flagged for copyright claims. I just want to help promote Operation Supply Drop more uh, to an entire university. Um, I'm also, through Operation Supply Drop's uh, a, a charity, I'm hoping to create a streaming group at the University of Akron that is there for all streamers, broadcasters on Twitch, Hitbox, uh, you know, Beam.pro, Restream, uh, YouTube Gaming. Basically, we all get together. We're uh, basically a broadcasting group, regardless of platform, who works with Operation Supply Drop to get the, the word out, spread the wealth to other broadcasters, um, to other groups and let them know what this organization is about. And I can't, I can't talk enough about Operation Supply Drop. I could go on every day. But if you guys literally go to the website uh, uh, 
operationsupplydrop.org. Uh, let me move my dumb self out of the way. You know, right here, guys. www.operationsupplydrop.org. Right up here. You type that in, that'll bring you here to this page. You can check out what the origin story is of Operation Supply Drop. Their mission, vision, and purpose. Their mission, vision, purpose again. The future, where do they want it to go? Where does the name Operation Supply Drop come from? Then you can go to like uh, what we do, supply drops. Um, supply drops. Uh, I can't tell you how much of a difference it makes. Difference it makes out here. Operation Supply Drop significantly contributes to the morale of this platoon and every element you send tr drops to. It's really something. This is uh, Don Gomez Jr., U.S. Army, 2001 through 2006 and 2011 through current. That I mean, that's kind of awesome. And there's these troops all over the world receiving care packages like this right here. Several Xbox all-in-one care packages, uh, headsets, games galore. Uh, uh, that's insane. T-shirts, games, 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 Guitar Hero, merchandise, gear, games, controllers, consoles, TV screens, shirts, you name it, what have you. And they just go all out for these guys all over the globe they just send out care package after care package to these groups uh, like you know they send the video you send you know three thousand dollars worth of video games to somebody and they're gonna wonder what the hell's going on yeah trolling nubs thank you for the follow my friend thank you for the support it is real I'm sorry it popped up there for a brief moment I, I forgot to set that I thought I did um, basically, you know, these guys help everywhere. And again, I'm going to be giving a presentation on this. So I'm, I'm hoping all goes well very soon. Um, I'll be talking to the VA uh, representatives at my university, uh, just like I did when I set up for classes. I only spoke to one person. I need to speak to the whole VA and see if they have their meetings besides the VFW post once a month. I'm also speaking to the entire student body, the fraternities, the sororities, uh, the, what's the IPH, the inner Panhellenic groups, something like that. Basically, the presidents of each fraternity, sorority, what have you, get together in group and have like their meetings of what everyone's doing and what's going on, stuff like that. And I'll be pitching this again like, three times, possibly on Wednesday. Um, I don't have business cards set up yet, but I hope to soon. Um, and I literally hope that everyone's okay with me putting on the back of the card, like, or, or on the front with my, my uh, social media markers, you know, or, or on the back, organize, organizations I, I work with. And be like, you know, Operation Supply Drop, St. Jude Live, uh, Child's Play. Um, what's the other one? It's not Child's Play, but it's, uh, what do you call that? It's not Child's Play. It's One Up, something like that. But they, you know, they work with kids too. And I hope to be able to get my student organization group, the streaming group, to also spread the wealth to these other huge charities and show my university that great things can be done in the gaming community. It's not just like, oh, Mr. Big Business over here that makes uh, lift gates, you know, like Waltco or, or you know, big Fortune $500 company over here that's like, you know, a, a huge cleaning company that cleans office buildings across the nation and the globe. Uh, you know stuff like that. I, I don't I, I want the gaming community to be recognized and Operation Supply Drop does that and For me being a military man. This hits close to home So this is why I'm, I'm doing this stream tonight. I didn't expect to stream today because I, I came home I was tired. I, t I took a nap after running all my run errands today, and I'm still exhausted, but This is a good reason for me to come and stream to you guys so, 
We got our games in there. We are talking about what Operation Supply Drop does. Um, there is always a media. Uh, I, I just can't, I can't talk about this enough. It's insane. Uh, how video games help soldiers deal with the horrors of war. This, like, these articles on Operation Supply Drop are amazing. Personal accounts. Oh my god, look at that. That's insane. Uh, if I didn't have these video games, I would go crazy. I don't like to read, and my thoughts often go back to drown downrange, wondering what's going on with my fellow infantrymen, Clay Camp. Uh, here's another one. They needed a break from the feeling that they are at work or in danger 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, says Simmons. Uh, it lets them know that despite the fact that many dislike what we do, there's an appreciation for our actions and cause. People out there are thinking of us and not sending random items thinking of us, but actually putting us into consideration, Simmons. Uh, the purpose behind getting... Uh, Operation Supply Drop was to forget the putrid smell everywhere, the physical and mental stress of the job, and to not always feel like at any point you can die, says Thomas. It's it's this kind of stuff that makes these games amazing. Look at this guy back here. He is pretty, pretty pumped up right about now. Right there. Look at that. Ah! It, like, these guys are just raising it up. Raising up the games. Like, this is the coolest stuff ever. It's amazing. And it's it's things like this that I, I just hope that we can work towards every day. I hope the stream takes off to do great things. These guys are amazing. Uh, so, guys... Uh, yeah, I have CSGO trolling, nub uh, Nubbles. I have tr uh, CSGO. I don't play Minecraft. Um, I, it's just a game not for me. I put too many hours into it. And I also did Terraria at one point and actually had problems, so I don't play that with the community ever either. Um, so due to, like, you know, DDoS attacks and, and, and the stream being down because of that, and, you know, stuff like that. However... Playing with you guys is not a problem. I play Diablo a lot. I do play CSGO a little bit. I'm not a great gamer. I'm by no means, by no means, an amazing player at CSGO. I jump on there and I'm like, why am I not getting headshots like these guys? <laughs> I, I suck at CSGO. I suck at FPS games. I twitch way too much with these hands. It's just like jerk, jerk, jerk. Oh, I didn't get it. Um, but it's always a good time. It's always fun. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this this little bit of a presentation that I have for Operation Supply Drop. It's just me like talking about the website, showcasing two of the videos, uh, going through little segments, you know, uh, about how happy these guys are, and uh, it, it's 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 amazing. Uh, here's another good one. Uh, it was breathing room they needed when they are cramped in vehicles for 23 hours driving or gunning, dealing with the culture and language barriers with locals, says Hughes. Uh, making games make a difference. It's, it's amazing to see games being able to take the stress off troops across the globe and, and let them escape from their daily lives and just, just have fun. And that's that's always what I do here. That's always what I strive to do on Twitch with every broadcast. I try and get an escape from my daily life and just have fun with you guys. You know, even if my kids are going crazy in the background and you guys are seeing my living room just torn apart. It's, you know, it's life as a parent. But at the same time, you know, this is my life I get to share with you guys on Twitch. And uh, without having the community that we have, I wouldn't be able to talk about Operation Supply Drop. I would never know what Operation Supply Drop is. Heck, I, I barely know what Twitch is. I only found out March last year and started trying to broadcast uh, fall of last year, which then started December 18th. Um, but with all 11 months of technical difficulties, we are finally here <laughs> as of July. Uh, 18th. <laughs> Go figure, right? Um, it's just crazy a number enough. So, 
uh, I guess that would be my start of stream date. Uh, I am also purchasing my my tower my tower and cooling uh, new liquid cooler to try and keep the CPU cooler. Um, I do want to showcase the game to you, games to you guys, these amazing uh, early access games and stuff, and I want to continue to do charity runs for Operation Supply Drop and St. Jude Live. Um, without you guys, I feel like I'm just gaming by myself and experiencing Twitch. I, I don't ever want to go back. Um, it's just video games help me get away. And you guys make it that much more enjoyable for me. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching this presentation. Uh, I know it's a short stream. I, I mentioned it is a short stream. And I just want to you know, tell you guys, this is kind of a big deal to me. And I want to tell, reach out and tell you guys about it. I want to, I want to tell everyone about this. Uh, I hope to meet uh, Operation Supply Drop in the future when I go to TwitchCon later this month. Um, coming up this weekend is Streams for Dreams. I'm hoping to get back in touch with uh, Mr. Brandon King, who's heading the whole thing. Um, there's something like 50-something people already going to be there. About 700 folks are already invited. Um, you can even check the Facebook page, Streams for Dreams. Let me actually pull that up as well. And I will show you guys that page because it's also important um, because I am doing a sh I am helping out with a charity. So I will tell you guys about charities. Um, streams for Dreams on Facebook and Twitter and the website Streams for Dreams. Um, there is a plug-in on the page down below. Uh, I am trying to get them to set up my partnership as well because I am partnered with them for showcasing this and getting trying to get the word out about this event as well. I, I hope we can move on and, and keep doing very great things in the gaming community. Uh, I actually got to pull up my page, don't I? I think I do. But let me do that. And then I can show you guys the website and what they look at doing too. Let's see, streams for dreams. There it is. There's the streams for dreams website. Boom. Streams for dreams. Uh, they also have streams for dreams on Twitch. That's what these guys will be hosting from, or broadcasting from. Um, they plan to raise $3,500. Uh, they have like Logitech uh, giveaways. They have games. They have balls, energy drinks. B a w l s. B a w l s. Um, let's see. Their sponsors. Yeah, Balls Guarana, RFX Hosting for Mumble Servers, Tech and Games, Facebook.com/groups Tech and Games, uh, Simplexit. Uh, let's see. Charity. It is Child's Play. Ah, wow, look at that. Child's Play Charity Contact Information. Child's Play, 8040161, uh, 161st Avenue Northeast, PMB, hashtag 418, Redmond, Washington, 98052. Facebook, Child's Play Charity. Twitter, at CP Charity. You know, like, these guys are doing some cool stuff. Um... Announcing our next event at Streams for Dreams, we want to host gaming events with the intention of raising money for charities. Last time we had an event, we broke our goal of $2,500, so we've upped the ante and want to hit $3,500 this time around. Our next 48-hour event will be September 4th through September 6th. That's this coming weekend. I may be there for fri part of Friday uh, and maybe a part of Saturday. I don't know. I'm still talking about uh, getting out there and being a part of this. Um, as far as I know, I might be helping read off donations, keep up with chat, and, and talk with you guys. I really, really hope that uh, to see all of you there. I wouldn't want to miss it for you know the world. It's, it's child's play. I'm also big on helping the kids. So if it's child's play, let's plays, um, one up, or... You know, Operation Supply Drop is for the troops. I will continue to help kids and, and folks everywhere. 
So be sure to be watching this, guys. I'm I'm hoping to see all of you there. Uh, let's see. Watch a partnered streamer, uh, Protorix and Launders, which is a CSX boxer, box car, something like that. What up, Doja? What's going on, buddy? How are you? Um, but hopefully my name appears up here soon because I got to talk to them about that. I know they're busy, just like I'm busy. I need to talk to Mr. Brandon King. He's he's really awesome. But also, let's see, streams for dreams. Let's search. Let me do it like this. Streams. Oh, streams for dreams. Right here. Okay, this is it. J Price 13B. Hey man, I thought I'd stop by and say hello. I'm a new member of Mill Mil Spec Gaming. What's up, J Price 13B? What's going on? Game Key here. Uh, just talking about Operation Supply Drop and uh, this current charity for Child's Play that I'm uh, hoping to be a part of. Like I was saying here, 653 people are invited. 19 are probably going. Uh, will you do uh, do uh, uh, an LP for Skyrim K in your what, YouTube channel? Uh, what are you trying to say? I meant on not uh, K N. What do you mean K N? I don't. I don't. Oh, on your YouTube channel. Uh, will you do a live playthrough for Skyrim on your YouTube channel? Uh, sure. I actually um, have been wary of testing that out on piece on my PC because I am buying a better liquid cooler than the stock one that came with it, and I need to make sure that cooling is. Uh, optimal for my CPU because I'm hitting temperatures so far of what my readings are saying on two different uh, temperature reading programs MSI Afterburner and uh, Open what is it or no real temp that's what it is real temp and I need to make sure that I'm not reaching a hundred Celsius on my CPU while I'm streaming some of these high graphics games so I'm, uh, I'm trying to work on that, and as soon as I get that fixed, I can play these bigger games for longer hours. Um, I may be going custom water cooling for all I know. I, I don't know yet. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be here at this event this Friday. I'll be talking with them about it. Child's Play is dedicated to helping your uh, local children's. J Price 13B, thank you for the support, my friend. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, trolling Nubbles, that's what that looks like. I, I had to hurry up and, and set it so that way yours kind of showed up and it was already leaving. Um, but that's what that looks like. Guys, that follower sound is someone joined your party in Earthbound. I did showcase that and stream it earlier this year. Um, I play anything from retro games, as you can check out on the YouTube channel, to new stuff. Oh, wow, that was late. Yes, it's anywhere. The alert system is any. I use some alert, and it catches Twitch Notifier anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes later. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be here, guys. Uh, September 4th through the 6th, we'll be running our second 48-hour stream event on Twitch, where we will be playing a variety of games and giving away Balls Guarana, Logitech Gaming Gear, to raise money for Child's Play Charity. Uh, tune in to twitch.tv streams for dreams, and don't forget to donate to Child's Play. Child's Play Charity uh, seeks to improve the lives of children in hospitals and domestic violence shelters through the generosity and kindness of the video game industry and the power of play. Uh, this is also a huge, huge uh, charity that I like looking out for because it's just like St. Jude Live. You're hitting it where it means most, the kids. It's all going to the kids. It's all for the kids. All donations raised go for the kids. It's extremely important. You know, the, the next... Uh, level of society that may be taking care of us one day. You know, we'll eventually be our cops, our teachers, our, our college professors, uh, teaching the following generation of children and young adults to become uh, high members of society or working members of society anywhere in the world.
it's it's another big deal for me and this event is only four days away so guys definitely be tuning in to twitch.tv streams for dreams I will link this in the chat there we go uh, JLH 13 I come from J price 13 B thank you for coming in uh, GLH 13 it is nice to see you my friend uh, I'm going to go sub to your YouTube and then sleep by stream alright trolling nubbles thank you so much again for the support thank you my friend thank you so much you guys are amazing um, this is again a short stream for me so I will be uh, ending here in just a minute we will be going and following uh, hosting somebody else who is playing something again this streams only been up for about 50 minutes because I, I got home and I finally got to sit down and do this uh, broadcast with you guys but I gotta get up at, in like five hours to go and get ready for class <laughs> crazy as that sounds for a Tuesday um, I have class at 630 but I get up at 5 takes me about an hour to get to the university that lobby though JP jeez crazy crazy it is nice to see you guys thank you guys so much for the support thank you I uh, can't say it enough thank you so much you guys being here and allow me to explain this and inform you guys of the charity events coming up is amazing and I can't thank you enough guys thank you now let's go spread the love to another fellow broadcaster I will be back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST, ready to stream some games with you guys. Some Diablo 3. We are gearing our wizard. We are. And it's all thanks to Moses underscore 2265. Now let's go hit up. Uh, let's see. Is there another fellow member of Millspec streaming? Are you streaming right now? Uh, J Price 13B? Are you streaming right now? I, I don't. I don't know if you're streaming. Blood food boogie has connected. Uh, let's see. Um, you are streaming right now, aren't you? <laughs> well, let's go hit up uh, J Price. <laughs> Let, let's go hit him up, guys. Jump in this channel, guys. All right, thank you, Jay Price. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let's go hit this other uh, broadcaster up and see what's going on. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>